So that must have been something then with just coming together to write that book. You said it's about four or five years mm -hmm. it was in the making. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that was just really helpful to come to articulate some of these things and process them and no doubt we'll have a chance to talk a little bit more about what was the aha or what were the ahas and even now as we'll come to it later what are you finding when people interact with you like whoa this takes us even to a deeper dimensions of engaging this subject mm -hmm. at new wineskins we're really interested in the emotions the affections uh, we were talking earlier about uh, dr ron frost who's a good friend of mine who was a leader at new wine for years and i, I think you've had connections with uh ron but you know, for us, the affections drive the reason and the will. And that's really core to what New Wine, New Wineskins is all about. We've been influenced by individuals like Jonathan Edwards, or John Ed Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan Edwards, <laughs> not John Edwards, but Jonathan Edwards. Uh, and in social psychology, Jonathan Haidt, who's an atheist, phenomenal figure when he works with um, moral intuitions, politics, culture wars, such. And he sees the emotions or the affections as so critical. But dealing with the subject of uh, the emotions, you had mentioned EQ. In our society, so often we put the focus on IQ. And there's a place for it. IQ is really important. But maybe you would say that as important as it is, maybe we overvalue IQ and undervalue EQ. Uh, EQ, emotional intelligence. Could you speak to that uh, briefly about the import of EQ to even yes. out? They can't well, be separated, as John said. Yeah. yeah. Can't yeah. Not separate. Emotional intelligence really uh, became popular because of Daniel Goldman. Mm -hmm. He wrote a book on mm -hmm. emotional intelligence and popularized the term, which is really helpful. Um, but I think that uh, he, he would show in his book that emotional intelligence is actually more important than IQ because it helps you to manage your feelings in a productive way. And when you manage those feelings in a productive way, it can help your relationships and your relationships in your career, and all of those things end up um, helping you to uh, just be a more productive person in society, where your intelligence, you can compartmentalize, and I think, um, yeah, if you don't know how to relate to your boss or your coworkers, ultimately, you're not going to be as successful as um, someone else. So one can be really brilliant, but not self-aware. Oh, definitely, right? yes. And that's what in part you're, you're, yes. you're saying, I think, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. How, about, how about you, John? Yeah. Yeah, for me, it was all about um, knowing things and making informed decisions in life. And I, I've been obsessed with that. Um, what's, what's the wise way to live? What's the right next thing to do? And it's all about collecting information and understanding the world so that you can make those informed decisions. And I thought that just all happens in your rational, what we call the rational brain. Um, and what I began to learn was that, you know, we, we do a lot of thinking in the, our rational mm -hmm. brain, but we can only kind of juggle a dozen or so ideas at a time. Mm -hmm. um, it, Daniel Kahneman calls it our slow, or our fast thinking. Um, I'm sorry, our slow thinking, because you mm -hmm. can't do much with it. it. It takes a while to reason through a concept. And what I began to realize about emotion was that emotions are a different type of information that our body takes in. Mm -hmm. And our body could actually process just millions of bits of information at any time. Now, we don't have access to that directly, rationally, um, but we have access to all that through our emotions, through our affections, how our body's responding. And um, suddenly, to me, it just was like, well, if my body's giving me all this rich information, I need to value that. Mm -hmm. And that is going to help me live a wise life, an informed life. So emotional intelligence to me is that practice of paying attention to the information our body's giving us. Yeah, excellent. And fascinating just how you talk about...